Hello everyone! You might have noticed that I really like Click, and I made this video to share some features that might inspire you. And one thing that I really like is maps, so I will talk about that. And this is not the best dashboard or best visual ever, but uh, I just want to show everything in just one page so that you could see everything in action. Okay? So starting here on the right side, we have two charts with a drill down, which is the first feature I want to talk about. And you can create a drill down in the master items, just indicating the hierarchy that you want. So in this case, if I set back to here one state, the master item will go to the next level of the hierarchy and will break down everything by city, which is, the, is my le next level. And to do that, it's very simple. You just come here to the edit mode, come to the master items and create your a dimension using the hierarchy. So in this case I'm using state and the next layer is city. Okay, just showing you here in detail. This is the drill down you select from here. Okay. So the next thing I want to show you is not a feature but it gives the same effect depending on what you're doing. As you can see the map is also showing cities. So if I just clear my selections I can see the states, but this is not a drill down. This is actually, uh, we have two layers here, not two, but uh, I'm talking about two. The first one is only displayed when the condition is met. So I, if I click here in Sao Paulo state, I will have one state selected. So the first layer is only displayed when my get selected count of state is equal to zero. So here on the map, as you can see, I have here the layer display option and the calculation condition is get selected count of state equals to zero. So when it's zero, I can see the states. When it's different than zero, I do not see the layer. Okay. So we're looking at Sao Paulo, but let me go back to Mato Grosso or these states because this was actually created focused on grains because we have the storage capacity and we can cross this, especially in the states that have more grains uh, production. So as you can see here, we can select the state and see the main crops for each city. And I use the same condition to visualize the city detail. So for example, let me zoom in here in this city. The layer will disappear, will only remain the, the border of the city and I can see now using this button, the silos, because this button will change a variable, the variable value, and will also display another layer here and change this chart to a table. So when I click here, I change the variable value and I can see this layer and this table because here actually I have a container with two tabs. And the first tab is only visible when the condition is met. So as you can see here, this table will only be uh, displayed when my variable value is equal to one. And if I have only one city selected, going back here, this is pretty cool because we can zoom in here in any of these points. I will not hover the mouse on the on the points because this would just give the name and I just don't want to give too much detail but we can zoom in here and see the coordinates are very oops just showing the silos and we can also select from the table because they are related so let me just show you here if I select these uh, units I will see them on the map and the bubble size is and the colors are the, the storage capacity so I can just zoom in here and see where they are and the capacity is right on the table. Pretty cool. Uh, same thing can be uh, done using the variable here to display the properties, which is another layer on the map. And this layer was originally a shape file, but using QGIS, I converted it to KML because I'm using Click Desktop but this gives us a very nice look and the map and we can see the details, this, uh, the size of the properties and 
basically we can go to another city so going back here let me just change the values of the variables for example let's see let's go to this other state and same thing here we can see many the borders of the properties which is really nice and we can zoom in so basically we can pick any city on the map and see what are the main crops of that city which are the largest storage units the profile of the properties and we could cross this with sales values or sales data or any other data that we have that could be uh, linked with the same level of detail right uh, well that's it for this video i hope you like it and get some inspiration or insights from it using these functions or the variables these tricks okay let me know if you like it and see you soon bye